let us solve the next question question number 4 what is given here an electric bulb of 20 newton weight is hanging from ceiling full stop its wire is pulled by a force acting at 20 degree to horizontal such that the wire makes an angle of 70 degree with the ceiling full stop find the magnitude of force and tension in the wire again they had given some conditions here with the help of these conditions i will be writing the data an electric bulb of 20 newton weight so the weight of the bulb is 20 newton is hanging from ceiling full stop its wire is pulled by a force acting at 20 degree to horizontal now the condition i can draw this initially we have a string which is being pulled which is being pulled now how it is pulled if i can just draw this vertical light line this shows the initial position of the string this string is pulled in such a way that it is pulled by a force acting at 20 degree to horizontal means if i have a horizontal line to that horizontal line the force is inclined at 20 degree next such that the wire makes an angle of 70 degree with the ceiling in such a way that the wire will make an angle of 70 degree with the ceiling it is like this Seventy degree with the ceiling. Now, initially the weight was acting here. Then, if it is pulled, the weight could be shifted. Means here, if I draw the electric bulb, it will look something like this. This diagram, where I am applying force P. Because of that, there will be tension in the string, and here is the weight of the bulb, which is given as twenty newton. Now with these conditions given, you have to calculate P and you have to calculate T. So let us start this problem. I will say that drawing FVD, for given problem, For FBD, remove the ceiling. Force is inclined at 20 degree given in the problem. Load is 20 Newton. This angle made by made by the string with horizontal is 70 degree. So if this angle is 70, it is here, I can even say that with respect to this horizontal line also, it will be 70 degree. Means here we have a case of alternate angles. So in case of FBD, free body diagram, first I have to mark the forces which I have already done. Next I have to write the angles. 20 degree is the angle made by the force and 70 degree is the angle made by the tension in the string. So what angle remains in between is this is 70 plus 20 90 so even this angle would be 90 and here also have 90 this is also 90 degree. With this much data provided we can easily solve the question by using Lamis theorem. So I can say by Lamis theorem, Lamis theorem is applicable to three concurrent forces therefore I will write down capital T upon sine of angle between p and w it is 20 plus 90 that is 110 then p upon sine of angle between t and w 70 plus 90 160 degree w upon sine of angle between t and p that is 90 so here i have an equation in this equation we can easily calculate the value of t and p First, I will go for the calculation of T. I will write down since 
कैपिटल डी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू डिवाइडेड बाय साइन नाइंटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन हंड्रेड एंड टेन देर फोर दिस कैपिटल टी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाय साइन नाइंटी इंटू साइन हंड्रेड एंड टेन डब्ल्यू इज ट्वेंटी न्यूटन So if I calculate this, I will get my answer of capital T, which comes out to be ten point one five newton. My first answer. Now, also, I want the value of p. I want p. So p will be w divided by Sin ninety. I'll keep W upon sin ninety as it is. Sin one sixty will be on the other side. Into sin one sixty. So that is the relation which I am getting here. Previously for T, this was the relation. If I say that, therefore, capital P is equal to W. The value of W is given as twenty upon sine ninety into sine one sixty. So if I calculate the answer, I will be getting capital P as one point seven six newton. That's my second answer. So if you see in the question, there were two things asked. One tension in the string. That tension in the string we have calculated as ten point one five newton. Second question was to calculate the value of P, which is the horizontal force, and that value of P we have found it as one point seven six newton, and we complete the problem.